everyone and welcome back to another Bruffington vlog. Today I am going to be answering the questions in the Sunkissed Summer tag about how I feel about summer topics, I guess. The first question is when did you or your kids get out of school? My kids are not in school yet and neither is anyone. My husband and me are, are not in school, so it's actually a really great time for us. My little four-year-old was in preschool, so he got out like mid-August he got out, so we haven't been doing any kind of school stuff for a long time. Question two, beaches or pools? And actually, I'm gonna kinda cheat and kinda say both. We went, we had a, a condo one time in Mexico where you could go play on the beach and then you could hop in your pool, and it was the best. Are you going on any summer vacations? If not, what's your dream summer vacation? We will be going on a couple summer vacations. I think we're going to be doing a cabin trip um, a little bit up north, and then I think we're also going to be going to Hermosa Beach in, in August. So we have a couple of those. It's actually kind of the best of both. I love going to the forest, to the mountains, and I love going to the beach. I really do like the beach, so we do have some vacations planned, and I'm looking forward to them a lot. Question four, s'mores or ice cream? I will 100% of the time say s'mores. I love s'mores so much to the point where I will roast some marshmallows in my own home either in the microwave. Have you guys ever done this? You put your s'more, graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, and you put it in your microwave and the marshmallow just gets huge and fluffy and, and melty and it's so good. I don't know how long you cook it in the microwave for, but yes, s'mores all the way. I don't not like ice cream though. I like ice cream too. But usually I will I will take s'mores over ice cream. Question number five: What's your most fun summer memory? If, if we're take, if we're talking family, then when we went to Hawaii, we went to Hawaii over the Fourth of July one summer, and it was so fun. If we're not talking family, I would have to say Young Ambassador Singing Entertainer Camp up at BYU or Brigham Young University. Um, they it was just a week long singing and dancing camp and it was the best. I have so many fond memories of that camp. <sighs> Even just thinking about them now makes me so happy inside. Question number six, does your skin tan or burn? My skin can't decide. Some summers it burns really bad and some it, it tans. I think the summer is gonna be a good summer because we just did two weeks of swim lessons and so I was outside for like 30 minutes every morning for two weeks and so I kind of got a good base tan so I'm hoping we get a good summer. Question number seven, how do you wear your hair in the summer? This is what my hair does when it naturally dries. So this morning I just showered and washed my hair and it's like, I don't know if you can see, it's like part part curly, part straight, a little funky. Um, I, I feel like this is how it's gonna be most of the summer just because it's too dang hot to blow dry my hair. Like, I have a lot of hair, guys. Like, look at that. It's like a rope. Can you see that? I've got a lot of hair, and it takes a, like an hour for me to blow dry and straighten my hair, so. I'm, I think I'm gonna go all natural this summer, but I like wearing it down. Otherwise, I'll put it up on a top bun. Question number eight favorite summer nail polish. I am not much of a nail polish girl. My toes aren't even done right now either. Um, so I do not have a favorite. If I had to choose one, I'd probably have to say some kind of like a neon color. I really like like neon orange or neon pink. Um, so yeah, not much of a nail polish girl. I'll have to figure that one out this summer. Question number nine, would you rather spend a summer day outside in the pool or inside watching Netflix? Uh, I, I do both of these. This is like the majority of my summer. Either I'm in the pool with the kids or we're inside watching TV. Um, I, I would like to say I'd rather be outside by the pool, which I would, but lately I'm in the Netflix mood. We've been watching a lot of Fixer Upper around here. So right now, Netflix. Question number 10, sunglasses or hats? Definitely sunglasses. Question number 11, what is your song of the summer? <laughs> Question 12. Do you have a summer bucket list? If so, share some things on the list. I don't really have a, a summer bucket list. So I'm just planning on hanging out with my family, Zach's family, uh, have a couple vacations I told you about, and so yeah, I'm kind of lame when it comes to summer bucket listing. If you have some suggestions, comment below. I would love to read them. Question number 13, bikinis, tankinis, or one pieces? Definitely one piece or tankini for me. I actually only own tankinis right now, mostly for like bathroom because one pieces are just such a pain. But I never wear bikinis, it's just not part of my lifestyle. We can talk about that later. 
Number 14, must have summer makeup product. I would probably say foundation because I just am paranoid kind of about the redness of my skin, so I'd probably say foundation. And the last question for today's uh, tag is, what's your favorite thing about summer? My favorite thing about summer is definitely swimming. It's one of those easy activities that you get to do here in Arizona like almost half the year. Um, the kids love it. I love watching them by the pool. It's refreshing. That is just a part of my life. And so I really, I really love uh, swimming in the summertime. My, one of my favorite things. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And especially don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Just click that big red button down below. And I guess if you're on Facebook watching this, maybe go over to YouTube and then subscribe. Through your Gmail. So if you have a Gmail account, all you gotta do is sign in through that and you will be logged into YouTube and you can subscribe. So it's really not that hard. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.